In this video, we'll model a terrain map with SketchUp and Slicer for Fusion 360. Click on File, Geolocation, Add Location. Note that we have Satellite and Map options. SketchUp Pro will have both. SketchUp Make will only have Map. Now be aware that this only works in SketchUp 2017. I'm using Satellite and I'm going to type in an area. You can type in a general location or a street address. Pan around to look for the specific area you want and you can also zoom in. Then click Select Region and hone in on it with these pins. Then click Grab. The swatch of land will enter SketchUp. Click on the Layers tray and note that we brought in a location snapshot and a location terrain which is turned off. Turn the location terrain on and you'll now see the contours of the area. You can turn the location snapshot off. This is a locked group as you can tell by the red color. Right click and choose unlock. Next, we need to give volume to this swatch of land, and to do that, we need an extension called Add Terrain Skirt. This is an extension that you can get at sketchucation.com, and you do need to be a paying subscriber for it. If you search for Add Terrain Skirt, here it is. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to install it. Go to Window, Extension Manager, Install Extension, and then find the extension. Then look under Extensions, and there it is, Add Terrain Skirt. So I'm going to highlight this and click on that. Click OK to that message. And there it is. So now we have volume. Now there's another extension I need called the SketchUp STL. And that's so I can export this as an STL file. So if you don't have that installed already, go to the extension warehouse. And the SketchUp STL is typically in the top extensions window. Click on it and you do need to be signed in to install it. So once you're signed in, just click the install button, click yes, and now it's been installed. I can go to File, Export STL. Next, go to the Autodesk App Store and download Slicer. You need to log in to your Autodesk account and then download this. Once you download and install it, launch it and this is what you'll see. Click Import and navigate to the STL file. Here it is. And that's the file. Under Construction Techniques, choose Stacked Slices. And since I don't want it sliced that way, I'm going to choose Slice Direction and rotate the direction of the slices. And there we go. Next, I'm going to choose Get Plans and download this as a DXF file. Export to my computer and there are all the 
DXF files. I'm going to send these to an online service bureau called Ponico to have them cut out. Before uploading your files to Ponico, check them for flaws that would cause them to be rejected. Import them into AutoCAD and run the overkill command. This command finds duplicate geometry. And when it finds it, it will automatically delete it. Overlapping objects is a problem when you turn a model into a bunch of 2D files. So once your files have all been checked, then go to Ponico and upload them. Click on My Ponico, My Designs, Add a New Design, once they're uploaded, add the materials. Click Add a Material. Choose the material type. Do that for all of them, and then click Make It. And there you have it.